talk about a monohybrid planet square. Today I'm going to talk about a dihybrid planet square, which is a crossing parent to different or two traits. Again, we're going to use SpongeBob and Sponge Suzy as, as examples. As we know, SpongeBob is heterozygous for his yellow body color and his square pants, while his wife, Sponge Suzy, is blue and has round pants. Since SpongeBob is heterozygous for both his traits, he's going to have a big Y and a little Y. Heterozygous means different because this is his yellow body trait. And he's heterozygous for his square pants. So it's big and little that. And Sponge Susie is recessive for both of her traits. So it's little Y, little Y, and little S, little S. And to find out um, the gamete combinations for each, we have to do a monohybrid Punnett square for each. It's going to be small. Okay, so for SpongeBob, we're going to put the S on this side and the Y's up here. So this one here will be big S, big Y, big S, little Y, little S, big Y and little s, little y. So his possible gametes are these four right here. And Sponge Susie's are little y, little y, and little s, little s. So this is little s, little y, all throughout the four squares. Now, to put these on a dihybrid Punnett square, you have to put the male gametes on this on the side and the females on top. So since SpongeBob is, I'm gonna use his gametes and put it on the side, which is big S, big Y, big S, little Y, little S, big Y. Oops. Little S and little S. And for Sponge Susie's traits, it is little s, little y for all of them. Okay, now we are going to do the same thing as we did for the monohybrid Punnett square. We're going to cross multiply all of these. So the first line will be big S, little s, big y, little y. And it goes throughout all of the squares. Okay. Now the second line is big S, little s, little y, little y. So that will go out through all of the And for the third line, it's little s, little y, and the top is little s, little y, so it's the big y. So it's little s, little s, big y, little y, all throughout the line. Okay. Now the lip. The bottom one is little s, little y, and the top is little s, little y. So these are all going to be little s, little s, little y, little y. And this is our dihybrid Punnett square. And now, so the chance of them having a blue baby is 50%. The chance of them having blue, being blue in square pants is a fourth, which is 25%, and the chance of square pants is 50%, and the chance of purebred recessive for both traits is one-fourth or 25%.